The Ben Heck Show is brought to you by Element 14, the electronic design community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com. Uh, look at all these darts laying around. I know, it's quite the mess. On a scale of one to 10, I'd say the annoyance factor for picking these up is at least a 9.8, which is why on today's episode, we're going to be working on the Roomba Nerf dart collecting robot, specifically the cartridge underneath it that actually picks up the darts and puts them into a bin. Let's get started. Let's get all these darts picked up first. Okay. Amazing hacks. How can we make this portable? Inspired designs. I am the internet troll. Regrettable acting. Bend them hatches! Each week, Element 14's The Ben Heck Show brings you innovative projects using electronics, engineering, and more. Hello and welcome back to The Ben Heck Show. In today's episode, we're going to continue working on the Roomba that goes around picking up Nerf darts. In the first episode regarding this project, we were able to control the Roomba. In today's episode, we're going to figure out how to make it actually pick up the darts. So we're thinking we'll modify the breast cartridge to pick up darts, maybe with custom bristles made out of Ninja Flex. They're gonna modify the dust bin to hold the darts. Once it picks them up, it has to put them someplace. We might have to make the dust bin bigger because the darts have a lot of bulk. Also, we wanna prevent the darts from getting stuck on the front spin wheel, the two main wheels, the brush, the bin, lots of places you can get stuck. We've got a lot of work to do, let's get started. So in this episode, we're going to be working on the dart pickup mechanism for the Roomba. Now Felix had the um, forethought to collect a bunch of Roomba parts from his school. So we actually had a bunch of Roomba parts laying around before we even decided to do this episode. Our Roomba didn't come with a brush attachment, but we have some brush attachments. So this is your first brush. And I believe these will run opposite of each other. Uh, I got another one here that we can test. It's always good to have two of everything. Let's put this in. Okay, oh, there's some sort of idler bearing here. See that? That probably just pops right off. We could use that in whatever we build. Close it up. Okay, there we go. So it looks like it, um, of course this is upside down, sucks up the dirt, and then the dirt gets thrown into the dirt receptacle. I'm calling it the dirt receptacle. And the uh, motor is built into this part of the Roomba. So I measured the diameter of the stock brush, and it is two inches. It's probably something in millimeters because most everything on that room is millimeters, but I'll just use inches. So it's two inches in diameter, but if you recall in the last episode, we gave the Roomba a lift kit to help it clear the darts. So uh, it actually has a quarter inch more height to it, which means our wheel diameter or our brush diameter, I should say, is now 2.5 inches. Um, so that's not a really a big deal on the bottom because you know the room has been lifted up. What I'm worried about is the top because remember that cartridge is in there and if there's not enough room for a 2.5 inch diameter brush, it might not spin freely enough. I think what I'll do is create a design in 3D and 3D print out some Ninja Flex to see if it'll actually fit. I'll make a piece that's flexible so if it does hit the top of the cartridge, it'll just bend. We need a bigger brush because we lifted up the Roomba. So I've drawn a circle here that is 2.5 inches in diameter. And in from that circle, I've made other shapes. And we're gonna try like these hook shapes that will hopefully grab the darts. So the size of each shape is well over the diameter of the dart. The darts are 0.5 inch in diameter. So these should be able to grab it. So what I'm gonna do is take this and do some extrusions on it to create the physical part. We're going to make the fins a quarter inch and the inner shaft half an inch. And then these little tips out here on the edges, these 
are what will get pretty close to the ground. So I'm actually gonna make those thinner so they have a little bit more flexibility. I'll make those just an eighth of an inch. All right, I'm gonna add some fillets here to increase the strength and also add some randomization to the circular motion. Basically, you know, anything to kick a dart out and keep it from getting stuck, you want to do. Once we find a shape that we like, we'll print um, half an inch, six of them, 12 of them, in order to create our new brush. We'll be using the original metal shaft that the brush came with. So I've been using Ninja Flex to print up some examples. Uh, see, the dart won't you know, stop when it hits something, it'll just flex. But then it will go back to its normal shape, or at least that's what I hope will happen. So I've been printing up a bunch of these. I can thread them onto this brass rod and we can do some more tests. There's a 3D printed cap on the end. That's just solid ABS. It has the square in it so it will fit into the Roomba. So I'm gonna make one brush the best I can, and then I'll make the other brush, but we can do some tests along the way. And for now, I'm just sliding these on with a tight fit, but if this works, I'll probably glue everything together. So it's going to run its motor. Mm -hmm. All right, push down the wheels. Okay. Ready? Yep. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute, what's wrong? Oh, it looks like it's... Oh, doesn't have enough force to move these yeah. brushes? That's not good. Let's move this out of here. Okay. Let's try it again. Ready? Yep. It's a little better. What speed setting do you have this on? I have it set at 100. Out of what's the 127. Total? Oh, so it's almost to the top? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> definitely, it would definitely fly into the bin. Yeah, these brushes are causing a little too much friction. Let's remove the rubber piece, which we have to remake anyway. All right. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. So I made them flexible so they could accommodate the fact that this thing needs to be bigger than it was. Yeah. But apparently they're not flexible enough, or when you add enough of them, it creates enough friction that mm -hmm. it impedes the motor. Let's do this. Let's, it's just running the brush. Can right. you make yeah, it run so. forward as well? Yeah, Can sure. we try to drive over some, some darts? Yeah. Okay. I'll go put the uh, forward code in. All right. Ready? Yep. Yeah, it's still uh, still getting bound up in there. I don't think we have enough space here. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a couple of those cartridges, right? Yep. Okay. We can only saw up as far as the dirt detector here, but we could probably remove this portion. Um, let's. Separate the green from the blue. Okay. And uh, use the bandsaw. So I'm going to cut as much of the green off as you can. So you just cut a big groove like that. Okay. And give that a shot. Yeah. All right, I'll look at some options with the Roomba right here. Sure. I just can't really explain Winona Ryder more than I can explain my completely irrational, but totally irrational hatred of Drew Barrymore. Okay, try it now. Well, that time I got it. All right, up. Oh, there we go. It's like catching a ghost. Let's try a few more. Best thing about B. Let's try two. Go. Stop. Okay, that one got caught here. How many of these do we have? Two? Three. Three? Oh, we can totally slice one up then. I know people that like Star Trek the motionless picture, but I'm not one of them. I mean, it's okay. But God, it's boring. Uh, let's start it again. The ones that get caught in the side are kind of a trouble spot. I mean, it's working, I mean, it still picks them up, so cutting the uh, fins smaller wasn't a problem. Okay, let's go again. Right. Stop it. Okay, let's do again. Looks like when they go in lengthwise, that's a problem. See that? Mm -hmm. That binds up pretty good. All right, why don't we try cutting the brushes even shorter? Well, did better. Okay, let's try it again without this door. 
I guess the brushes don't need to reach all the way down in order to pick things up. Nom, 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 nom. Let's see how we did. We got a couple. Of course, we don't have all of our fins in yet. We're going to do another test with the brushes. Felix has some push buttons now so we can send commands to it over the microcontroller. Uh, 100 and then 30? Yes. What do those numbers mean anyway? That's just a percentage it's or something? It's the pulse width modulation. Okay. Ranging from minus 127 to 127. So we can make it go backwards too. Yes. All right. So let's try these chompers. We don't have all of the secondary one done yet, but that's, that's okay. Ready? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, dude. Eat some more. Hey, it made it out though. <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> Do a hundred. This one's probably gonna fly up in our face. Yep. 30, this is 30? Yeah. This is 30, the prequel to this is 40. <laughs> I don't even like Apatow films. Oh man, it's this, there's just not enough room for the tip of this. It keeps getting stuck either here or here. Let's open this up and see if there's more of the cartridge we can remove to give us a clear path for the darts. We replaced the whole bottom section of this and now we're replacing it with a little bit of foam. And we basically are trying to have enough room so that the dart doesn't bind up. That's the big trick so far. Can you do the simulation? Felix, you are the new motor. All right, let's do a run test in the actual Roomba. Right on. Hey, I can use this to throw darts at Felix. I guess that works. Field goal! <laughs> it's good! All right, let's try it with both. Give me 70. 70? Yep. Oh, fail blog. That's 70? Yeah. It's 30. Where's your secret base? I'll never talk! Ah! It's in Siberia! So Max had the idea that we try making a dustpan scooper type thing. So we take the darts and we roll over them, but then we put them into like a one-way scooper bin. So um, why don't you grab some foam core or other thin material mm -hmm. and maybe do some rudimentary scoop things and I'll all get right. these all reversed. Okay, we're gonna try the super scooper, or as I like to call it, super butt. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of darts under it. So the idea here is we're gonna be trying to kick the darts into the receptacle. All right, fire it up. Wow. Yeah! It's the best. Stop it. You know, it's simply the best. Even Tina Turner would be impressed by this. Oh, let's do this. Let's put them in like the worst possible way, which is straightforward. Okay. Ready? Yep. Watch how mighty Roomba picks up every dart every time with no mess. <laughs> wow. Uh, stop it, please. So we don't even have the secondary brush on. Thought I spent four hours making that. <laughs> Before we started with really large scoopers and the idea was they would get the whole dart and push it, but that caused binding. So what we've done here is we've taken some of the pieces that we made yesterday, we spaced them out because we didn't have a whole lot. And these don't reach all the way down, but they do reach down far enough to just kind of kick the dart over. And then we have this plastic piece here that kind of hugs the ground and the darts are basically kicked up into the bin 
and the bin has a uh, slant to it so that once the dart goes in, they roll down the slant. And obviously this will be enclosed. Uh, yeah, that worked out pretty well. That's all the time we have for today. In a future episode, we're going to be finishing the Roomba Nerf dart gun collector by putting a camera on it so it can see where the darts are, go over there and pick them up. That way your Nerf battles will be totally clean. Remember, you can also go to element14.com forward slash TBHS to read about all the other upcoming episodes, builds, and special events. We'll nerf you next time. Hasta la vista, baby. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. California's economy, you are terminated. You talking to me? You talking to me? Well, I'm the only one here. See, you talking to me? I know what you're thinking. Did I fire two, three, four, nine shots or 10? Well, I lost track in all the commotion. But considering this is the Nerf Ultra Blaster, and it can blow a piece of Kleenex clean off, you'd ask yourself a question. Do you feel lucky, punk? Do ya? Consider that a divorce. Where is Chris Spruce? Chris Pine's brother. Chris Pine. <laughs> the Chris that is not Pratt. Oh wait, I just thought of something that's mm -hmm. totally not gonna cure our problem. What? Nothing. I'm, just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a brushatologist. But I think that's just give it variety. Today's episode brought to you by the new Diet Pepsi. We replaced one crappy toxic chemical with a different toxic chemical. Let's see if our customers notice. Spoiler warning, they do! I want you to have your own free will as long as you do exactly what I say. What do you do here on Pandora? Oh, we mine for obtainium. I thought it was unobtainium. <laughs> well, clearly we've got it. <laughs> then we had to change the name, and change it on the periodic table. It was this whole bureaucratic process. <laughs> obtainium. The Ben Heck Show is brought to you by Element 14, the electronic design community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com.